Lovely, nice mirrors. So considerations behind a big lorry. Yeah, good. If it's not safe to be out wide, then just stay a bit further back so you can gain more of a view around him. Because if something changes in front of him, we can't see. It's my least favourite place to be behind a lorry. Or a van. Nice, well done. It's lovely. No. I just make sure that where I stop is far enough back from the car in front that if I am rear-ended, I don't turn into a jam sandwich. I think sometimes people over-egg things. Nice, well done. Good. Nice to see you not getting directly next to anybody. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's why we didn't do it. Well done. <laughs> Good judgement. After the roundabout, we're going to need lane two. Just to pre-warn you. Lovely. Well done. Feel free to make progress if you want to in three. Be mindful of your speed limit. You come back out, lovely. Well done. That was nice planning. Nice, lovely. Use your power. Nice. Lovely. I'd be moving in as there's a car in your lane too. Just watch your speed, it's still 40. <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> so, A52 to begin with, and then at the next roundabout we'll want the 606. Well done. Nice, well done. position with the lorry quite close to it there so try and keep yourself away from the oncoming same again just bring yourself back in that's it lovely so for turning left i would be further in to the left lovely Don't forget your indicator. Nice, careful not to accelerate until you're past the sign. Do you keep getting away from me at all these changes of the speed limit? So over to position one, which is on the left. Get a better view around the bend. holding position one at the moment, watching for any near side hazards. So any hazards that are on the left, obviously keeping an eye on them. Good. Nice. 
mindful of the van on the left. I probably would have held two there. Position two, the, the middle of your lane. It's, it's up to you whether you choose to use two or three as your usual riding position, but three obviously means you'll be weaving in and out of two whenever there's anything oncoming. Lovely, nice mirrors, well done. Lovely, I'm supposed to ask you whether you considered rear observations before you came around the car. It's okay, you don't have to do it, so long as you're happy that, you know, you're 100% certain there's nobody behind you about to do the same thing. So at advanced level it's not compulsory, at, di at direct access level it would be, you need to do a shoulder check to move out past that car. Nice, mind your speed. <laughs> Watch his wheels. Nice, well done. I cover my horn when I see things like that, so my, my thumb's already out and over it. Three on the approach, but if you lose the view as you're coming round, then into, back into two. I mean, sometimes there's no point holding three. So using the line of the hedge ahead to try and judge which way the road's going. Read your bend, it's getting tighter. So plan for your bend. Well done. So remember your guiding principle on speed is can you stop in the distance you can see to be clear. So here for example you just braked where I would actually be accelerating because the road ahead is clear. There was no vehicles approaching the entrance on the right. Now reading the road I would be checking my mirrors. We are going straight ahead it's a bit of a chicane so just follow it where it goes. Watch out for any hidden junctions because we've lost the view of the road there. Nice, well done. When we get to the end of the road, we're going to turn right. Yeah, mind your position though. If you're turning right, you should actually be here. <laughs> this is your position. <laughs> <laughs> you don't drive a lorry, do you? <laughs> nice. Well done. It's a good position to be in. Move all the way across now, watching the van on the left, so back to two. Good. Nice position, well done. Lovely, well done. Lovely, nice mirrors, well done.
Nice, well done. I would have just held the position we were in originally. You moved in for some reason and then had to move back out again. It's all right. Bring your speed down a little bit in case there's any um, kids coming out between the cars or hidden entrances where we can't see. Nice, well done. I'm going to take the next road on the left when you see it. It's just coming up on the left. Nice, move into the left, not out to the right. If you're turning left, keep left. Move further into the left for you, Ben, in case there's anything swinging around it. Looking over the top of the hedge. Well done. Remember to keep a good eye on your mirrors. When we get to the end of this road, we're going to turn left. Turning left, keep left. Remember to check your mirrors in between your things like your bends. Try and plan your position early. I would have been over to one away from the parked car on the other side. If you can't see round the bend, slow down until you can. When you're coming down through your gears, make sure that you take your foot off the gear lever between the gear changes. Because if you leave it slightly pushing down on the gear lever, it won't change gear and you'll think you've changed gear and you haven't. I wonder if you're rushing it a little bit, which is why you're not coming down through your gears. Yeah, it probably would have been a bit further into the left on that one. That's a very tight bend, and you're hoping there's not going to be anything coming around the bend. If it's a really tight bend without the view, I'd be in position one. Nice, well done. Over to three, by the line. Good, well done. Nice. Three by the line. What's the speed limit? Yeah, it's just changed to national. Yeah, we just passed through them just as we came around the right-hand bend. You're probably thinking about the bends. Over 
over to three by the line. Yep. Remember to keep an eye on your mirrors between your bins. I'd be back out in three already, preparing to move in if necessary. Good, well done. Losing the view, so hold your position, don't go out too wide. Just in case there's something picking it round, but we're gaining the view now, so we're okay. Lovely. Mirrors for your change of speed. Nice. Lovely, well done. Um, well, we've got the view as we come round, so it doesn't really matter. Then it also depends on the junction on the left. If there's a car approaching the junction, then we'd be in two. Nice. So it would be one or two, depending on what's going on around, unless I needed to use three to come around another hazard. Over to position three. one nice you could work on asking yourself whether the bend is opening up or closing sometimes you're slowing down more than you need to when it's an opening bend we're going to be turning left at the giveaway. Keep it in to the left. Make sure you release your gear lever between your gear changes. Nice, don't be afraid to use the wrong side of the road. No real hazards on the right hand side there. Hmm, I probably wouldn't get too close to the back of him. That looks particularly poorly <laughs> loaded. <laughs> and he's got no idea we're here because you can't see his mirrors and neither can I. So good, excellent. Goodness me. <laughs> Watch the junction on the right here, because we're in danger. So on the wrong side of the road. Someone just swings straight out, we're in trouble. Nice, well done. So equalise your danger between what's on the left and the right. Use the wrong side of the road, it's safer. Good, well done. Go okay, position one so the people behind the tractor can see us watching the red car on the left, of course. Nice. Position two to one. And now go over to three early. You can see the hedge is going to take us around to the left, so three. That's it. Try and read the bends earlier. Move in from the inc oncoming, move away. That's it. Straight ahead at both roundabouts. Straight ahead. Lovely, just mind the surface. Read your surface as well. Remember, safety, stability, view.
three. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Yeah, because you're gaining the view, which helps you plan further ahead. We're just trying to use as much of the road as is safe to do so to give us a better view. The earlier we can plan, the safer we can keep ourselves. Well, I think the car behind wanted to get on the back of the bike then. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, now they're on the phone, look, look in your mirror. 